Hello all you little hoof trimming fanatics. I've just got this cow into the crush and just take a look at how twisted and overgrown this hoof is. Continue watching to see what we find inside. And for more weird and wonderful hooves like this, if you're not already addicted, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you with us. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of hoof trimmers. So I start this trim off with a knife, just to see what we are dealing with. For example, to see if there's the start of a sole ulcer or separation at either of the heels. There's nothing worse than this happening here, hoof trimmers, or anyone that likes to keep their hands clean. You will know what I mean. I've got some new gloves in stock, but I'm using up these ones because I don't like wasting them, but I'm looking forward to starting the good ones. With everything looking good, it's time to let the hoof see the grinder, and at that, a massively overgrown one. Cause if I'm being honest when I go to the grocery store I worry That I might turn that corner and fall right into you They would take me all the way back where you were So with these trims it's very important to have this inner claw nice and stable. So normally we just take a little bit off the toe here to stabilise routine trims but because this foot is so overgrown I've had to take more off this claw than usual. Surprise, surprise, this cow has got a little bit of digi up in here. So I'm just going to trim out these here areas of hard hoof or hard heel around here. Stop it jagging into this here and we will put the appropriate salicylic treatment on it. And um, to give it some compact time and she'll be great. From this angle, the inner claw looks to have a very high heel, but in actual fact, when this cow puts her weight on both claws, they are at the same perfect level, exactly what we want to do achieve for this cow's comfort. So as you can see there, I put on a new glove a short time ago, only done one foot and it's already got dirty so I want to make sure I've got enough bandage in this to keep the muck and slurry out for a few days to allow the salicylic acid to do its thing and heal that lesion of dermatitis. And we will achieve that healing with salicylic acid powder underneath this green bandage. You've obviously seen that black mark down towards the toe of the inner claw. I'll just show it to you now. That there is 100% nothing to worry about. And I could trim it away and make it nice and white and look lovely. But if I did that, I would be taking away the functionality of the claw. So I know it's nothing to worry about. And uh, we'll soon see how nice this cow's walking when she gets out of the crush. But before I let her out of the crush, her back right foot, it's not just as bad, but I'll just show you what it's like compared to the other one. 
so it's quite overgrown as well more than average but nothing compared to the other one so we get that trimmed and get this cow on our way it does make me wonder sometimes why both back feet are not always identical in terms of hoof growth on each cow. I guess it would appear that there aren't two cows or two hooves the same. surprise here to find the start of a soul ulcer because to remember the big lump of hoof that was she was probably walking out here at least so the bone structure has been forcing down through that and that would have been the start of a soul ulcer had we not trimmed her today we may have seen this cow maybe in another month or so with an exposed corium bulging out of this so it's nice to get this corrected in time as well as the other foot or as well as the other three feet any deeper in this here that is the start of an ulcer there's no doubt about it but this here heel now that we haven't really touched we've just stabilized this here we'll now take the weight carry across here and this whole area here has been relieved before there's been a proper sole ulcer where this cow has been notably lame so all in all a great day for her And this here just shows what I was talking about there with the inner heel height taking the weight and taking the weight off this area that was initially doing all of the work. Not that way, Gert. Not that way. Come on. So as always folks, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate you watching the video and I will hopefully see you all on the next one. Take care and all the best.